Well, this is indeed a first for me, I'll tell you something right now. To see two Pontiac Bonnevilles of the same elk, 165, 166, that's uh, more over there at the same show at the same time. That's definitely a first for me because you see, these cars, when they came out, they cost more for Canadians to buy them. They were more expensive, they were more luxurious, they were even longer, I think, than the Pontiac Parisienne. And the Pontiac Parisienne was, of course, the Canadian version of the Bonneville. So it's really weird to see this. The other one, I haven't filmed it yet because, I don't know, the guy, the owner is sitting right next to the damn thing. And, uh, wow, look at that, a four-door hardtop on top of that. Yeah, is that original? That's not original. This looks like it came off a late 50s Pontiac or even early 50s, that script there. Interior, however, does look very original. Wow, there's a Pontiac Bonneville dashboard right there. More luxurious, more details. That top vent there. More, more, more than the Parisian. Fake wood, beautiful. Even the steering wheel is beautiful. It has that, that what is it, translucent, clear uh, plastic, I guess. Wow, what a beautiful, luxurious bohemian. Fuck. Oh man, it's a petty, it's a Bonneville Brome. Jeez, you know, it's funny because at this time, if I'm not mistaken, what the hell's all this wire here? Uh, there was also a model they had, uh, also in the four door, called an Executive. Est-ce que vous êtes en train de prendre une photo? Okay, okay, je vais m'enlever de. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't want to cut that out. I like that song. The spinners. Check this out. The guy put these dual exhausts on here. And they're, they're, they made, they had, they're these old school tips that looks like there's, you know, quadruple exhausts. <laughs> That's a cool ride, man. Uh, I'm not crazy about the color. You know me with white. I'm just like, man. But uh, still, very, uh, very nice cruiser. And of course, the only engine you had in this was a 389 V8 as a base motor. And uh, anything after that would have been optional and actually rare for that matter. And we'll, and we'll finish with a nice... Uh... Oh, by the way, those Krager wheels, those are uh, also not original, but very nice, very period correct. And these mirrors also were added on. You know, this car actually looks like an old restoration. I just want to finish with a nice side view here. Yeah, it's a beautiful evening. I still can't believe it's like almost a quarter to seven and the sun is already that low. The sun is already almost set. I can't believe it. Unbelievable. Anyway, yeah, man, 66 Pontiac Bonneville. You know, I, I wasn't sure if I'd film this car or not, actually. First time I saw it was about six years ago. Still had the skirts on it, actually. And um, there was a guy one time when I was writing for the old autos newspaper and um, he saw a picture of this car and he called me. He's like, oh man, he's like, I want to buy this car. Do you have the owner's information? Blah, blah. I'm like, man, I don't have any of that stuff. And here it is, man. Just beautiful gold color, beautiful gold paint. Bonneville, of course, unlike the, the Parisienne, the Canadian Parisienne, did not have this beautiful aluminum, polished aluminum moldings here. Really nicely done, you know. Photo. Interior is fantastic. Look at the seats, eh? They look exactly like the seats in my friend's 68 Caprice. Look at that grab handle there, uh, just below the, uh, the Bonneville um, script. The windows are tinted, eh? You can clearly see the tint there. But you see, this is why I didn't want to film it. Look at all the people here in front of it. Uh, you know what? I think I'm just going to tack this video onto the other Bonneville that I filmed. That's it. That's all, you know? Not going to have all these people move out of the way. I hate when people do that. Seriously, like, I'm sure they're nice people, but you can't even, you know, film the whole car. You can't even, Somebody wanted to photograph it. They can't even photograph the whole car. It seems like kind of selfish, frankly. Hey, anyway, whatever. Salut, les